Don't come in the room so casually. You're terrible to go into a girl's room even though you have a wife, you know? <laughs> Ugh. Well, that's because you're having trouble with your window, right? You can stay in my room tonight. Please take me as your wife. I love you. What? Hey, you guys. My name is Keiichi Sato. I am 27 years old. Until recently, I was in the Maritime Self-Defense Force, serving on a destroyer. But during my duty, I had a collision with another member of the force, and my back was badly injured, forcing me to retire from the military. I went back to my parents' house and was looking for a job while helping out with the house chores, and then one day... Keiji, do you want to take care of students at a dorm? That's how I was introduced to it, and ended up heading over to the dorm on Saturday morning. But when I got to the student dorm Mom told me to go to, I found out the unthinkable. Nice to meet you, Keiji-san. We've been waiting for you. N n n nice to meet you! I hope I can be of s s s service to, to you, you! I was so nervous that I stuttered. The dorm mom seems kind. This is a small dorm, so there's not many dorm students here. Please let me introduce them to you. They're all cute girls! Excuse me? Wait a minute, this is a girl's dorm? Like she said, they are all cute girls for sure. I'd be convinced if I was told that they were actually celebrities. No way! Why is the dorm manager a guy? I can't believe it, you perv! There now, Sengoku-san. Don't say anything rude. It can't be helped that you're retiring, but how can a guy be replacing you? Well, I'd understand why she'd react that way. My name is Keiichi Sato. Nice to meet you. Oh, you've kept calm even when you were verbally abused by Yui. Who are you? You saw Yui and Kanai and didn't even raise an eyebrow when Yui said something mean. You're the worst! Don't come into the room so casually! You're terrible to go into a girl's room even though you have a wife, you know? <laughs> hmm. All three of them think I'm married, huh? Well, that's convenient. Well, Sengoku-san, you're having trouble with your room window, right? Uh, how did you know? I heard about it from the dorm mom. It seems some weirdo tried to get in through your window and broke it, huh? Really? Yui, did you get hurt or something? Yeah, the door mom came right away, so... Yui-chan, you're so cute, so you were worried. You guys can stay here and keep an eye on me. I'll get out as soon as I fix it. But, but... We were just trying to change our clothes now, you know? Don't you think that's a bit rude? Okay, okay, sorry about that. I, I can't believe that he cleaned up in such short a time! It's been less than half an hour since he arrived. Who the heck is he? I'm sure he's not just a normal person. The way he carries himself, it's just not normal. Nagisa-chan, don't be late. Sengok-san, you should stay away from the nails and pieces of wood that might hit you. Is he worried about me? Um, Sato-san, you're very good with your hands, huh? You're very good at organizing and repairing. Ah, this is just a breeze compared to the typhoons in Etajima. Etajima? Is that the island in Hiroshima Prefecture? Are the typhoons strong there? Crap. Yeah, I'll just have to fake it. Th uh, that's right. It's a hard work to clean up after a typhoon. Hmm? Hmm, I see. What did you do before, Keiji-san? You're really good with your hands. Well, uh, well, you know, I was just doing things around the ocean. It'll be a hassle, so I'll just keep quiet about my previous job. Oh, Keiji-san, you were in a fishing town? Well then, I want to eat seafood today. Oh, is that a request then? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, all we have is squid. All right then. Good. 
students like you has to eat their veggies too. Wow! So stylish! I've never seen this before. Really? It's Greek food. You've never had it? It's just for trying out the taste, so try it. Mm, so delicious! Keiji-san! Please give me that recipe. I, I'll write it down and give it to you later. He can carry a large amount of laundry, and the laundry pole looks so easy. He's stronger than he looks. Oh, welcome back, Umisei-san. I made some snacks for you in the cafeteria, so why don't you have them with Hanazawa-san? Oh, uh, thank you. If you keep your clothes with your sweat on, it'll make your body cold, and you might get heat rash. Okay. I made you some cold honey lemon, so drink them after you shower. W uh, what's the matter, Umisei-san? Senpai, you're working out a lot, huh? It looks like your body went through a lot. Oh, yeah, the dorm mom did say that Umisei-san was in the gymnastics club. Oh? Naoki-san, Kanai, what's wrong? Yui-chan, Keiji-san's our new dorm manager and he's quite reliable. Yeah, and he's very thoughtful. But he's a married man, and yet he's the manager of a girl's dormitory? How disgraceful. Senpai, what's your wife like? I'm curious too. Me, me too! Oh yeah, about that. I'm single. I mean, why did you guys think I was married? Keiji's bag had a keychain with a photo on it, right? And I saw a beautiful woman next to you, Sato-san. And I thought she was your wife. Oh, this person? She's my younger sister. We don't look alike at all. I look like my late father, and she looks like my beautiful mother. Oh! Your mother and sister are beautiful, just like actresses. Th then keiji san you're single and free? I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but yes. <coughs> what? What on earth? What is it with you girls? <laughs> It means we have a chance too, right? That body of yours, senpai, is trained very well. You're the ideal man for me. Oh, oh, I should say something too, but I'm not sure what to say. I love you. Hey! Please take me as your wife. What? I'm using the fire to cook right now. It's dangerous. I have to do something too, but I don't know what to do. Why? Why not with me? But I don't have any courage like Kanai and Nagisa. Yeah! Sengok-san, watch out! Don't touch me! She could run, so I guess she's not hurt. My goodness, there's no way I can be with a minor. Yui-chan! Come on, let's go out, okay? Stay away from me! I'll call somebody! What should I do? Nagisa and Kanaya already went back to the dorm! Come on, I'm gonna go clean outside, so let me go! Fine, go ahead. <sighs> Please come back soon. Good grief. It's nice of them to do that, but I wish they'd behave a little more with restraint. Wow, it's rare to see Sengok-san panic like that. Welcome home, Sengok-san. I've made snacks. Keiji-san, help me! Who the heck are you? That this is a girl's dormitory, you know? I'm the new dorm manager. I'm sorry, but no men are allowed in here except for the school staff, uh, myself, the dorm parents, and the contractors we've called in. But you're a man, aren't you? Shut up! you that he's the new door manager. Get out of here. Hey, Sengok-san, don't say anything harsh to provoke him. Who the hell are you? He's a wall, even though he's not that even tall. My goodness. Well, that was a disaster. Sengok-san. Uh? Yeah! Are you okay? I'll report this to the teacher later. It's going to be dark soon, so you should go to your room. Yes, all the way to this dorm. Yes, he was trying to take Sengok-san out. Thank you for your report. Sengoku, Umisei, and Hanazawa had many reports like that, so that's why we made a special exception and separated their dorm rooms. 
I think it was a right decision to separate them. Now that a former self-defense force officer like you has become our dorm manager, we're rest assured that the girls will be in good hands. I'll leave them to you and look forward to working with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Those girls must be having a hard time being followed around by men. The reason why they're being like that around me is because they're worried, huh? Keiji-san! Hanazawa-san, you're a good cook. <laughs> it's my dream to be a wife who's a good cook. I see. You definitely can become one. Why does he get along with Kanai but not with me? Yui, what's wrong? It's nothing. Sorry for worrying you, Nagisa. Well, I'm happy being popular with the girls. I don't like the idea of not just one, but them all being minors. Oh, what's the matter, Sengoku-san? Please don't call me a Sengoku. All right, all right. You should go to bed. No, you don't understand. Keiji-san, please stay in my room tonight. No, I can't. You're all still students. You should at least wait until after you graduate. Y yui What's wrong with you? I, are we not that attractive? <laughs> That's not true. I think you're all attractive. Then why are you being so awkward about it? Senpai, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Your stares are making me uncomfortable. All three of you, you saw my mother and sister's faces in the photo, right? Yes? I've always been fine with beautiful girls. It's the normal girls that make me nervous. And because of my previous job, I can't be that involved until you guys graduate at the very least. What was your previous job, Keiji-san? I was in the Maritime Self-Defense Force until a while ago. You often hear about scandals involving ex-officers on the news, don't you? I wanted to avoid that. Keiji-san? You're an ex-officer from the Self-Defense Force, huh? To think about it, you were saying something about Itajima. That means you are an executive. No wonder you're so reliable and you have a really trained body, huh, senpai? Well then, when you graduate, please decide which one of us will be your girlfriend. I'm not going to be your girlfriend. I'm going to be your wife. Me, me too! I won't lose to you guys! What? After that, the girls' fierce approach and happy, or rather, troubling happenings continued until graduation. The day before they were to leave the dorm for their graduation ceremony, I was still unable to make a decision. Keiji, have you decided who you're going to marry? Mom, you're terrible for saying that. It's a huge responsibility, you know. I would have been much more comfortable on the destroyer. Why would you even say that? You're being liked by all those pretty girls, you know. <laughs> because I have to choose one of them. What am I supposed to do? Katie san come, come over here! here. Thanks for watching until the end! Please make sure to subscribe to our channel!